Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last night. Long story. If you're hungry, you can grab a quick bite of pound mix. Let's talk to the weather. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman, whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but... I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. What's up, motherfucker? I don't think we're alone. Hey there. Mother has passed. She just couldn't survive for long without the serum.
Nothing there now. Hey. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else. I hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. We're here to help. 
Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Oh, sorry about this, Kenji. Expenses and all that. Of course. How does 350 cap sound? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Well, ain't that a blast from the past.
Good work. Now, let's see what's in that safe. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and to that some politics. questions came up. Might be a clue. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat, but more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the water's better than anyone. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Find Kasumi. Please. Hey, there's something you need? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Your thoughts? Got myself real lucky you pulled me out of that vault. Real lucky. That was all I had. Sure, sure.
Hey, you. <clears throat> hey there. I suppose hey, you. you're here for my medical system, system, aren't you? Been I've been looking for you. you today. Name's Boxer. Boss called me in on account of some rumors making their way through the Commonwealth. There's word that there's some kind of colony of synths way up the coast, all on their own. You heard anything like that? I'm following a lead on a place called Far Harbor. Never heard of it. Doesn't mean it's not connected, though. If you're already looking into it, don't let me stop you. Just let me know if you find anything, okay? Hey, you. Randolph's safe house has been MIA since Switchboard, but now we got one of their dead drops tagged. Des wants you to check it out. What's the story about Randolph? Everyone that knew the actual look. So this dead drop? It took this long to make contact? Sounds suspicious. Yeah, it smells fishy. But if some of our boys need help, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Once you take care of the dead drop, report him to Des. Hey there. Good to see you again. Hi. Hey there. Good to see you again. Captain Kells. Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? What are your orders, Captain? I want you to take charge of a recovery operation. The Brotherhood has been monitoring the Commonwealth for some time now. Ever since we learned of the synth threat, we've dispatched a number of reconnaissance teams. Paladin Dance's squad was far from the first. The previous team was dispatched three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing. Presumed dead. Paladin Brandis' team. I found them. What happened to them? Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? He's alive and well, but he wants to be left alone. He's given up. I expected better from him. What a waste. Very well. Is there anything else? Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. Mm hmm If so, that's what I want. Uh -huh. Report to Knight beyond that. I have other responsibilities. I'm making this. I expect results. Abomination. 
Well, good afternoon to you, too. I have a situation I need to report. Proceed. There are rumors about some kind of safe haven for rogue synths up north. It's not enough that we have to root them out here. Now we need to worry about them surfacing elsewhere? We need confirmation, not rumors or hearsay. Can I trust that you'll follow up on this and report your findings directly to me? You can count on me. I'm on it. Very good. Bring me something actionable, and I assure you the Brotherhood will deal with it. If it was up to me, I'd take every feral, muty, and scent and shoot them into space. up, Alan. Not visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around Mainlanders here. Mainlanders always think they know better. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. That means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? I need information about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Acadia, then. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Something. 
This ain't a drill. What the hell? I peeled everyone. Avery. Your help won't Open be the forgotten. gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! on the fall. Something's coming. I could use time. Alone. Excuse me. Hey, the children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. Appreciate the help, Nathan. Avery. And now you yourself. see what we're the up against. Alive. The fog and, got and it creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. You managed to survive despite all that? You must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Mariner. The whole took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. <laughs> but there is. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand in order to. And they won't. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. The pay is what the pay is. Are you in or out? Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. 
not yours. I am the one that saved all your asses, so yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is the day we're as good as dead. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. So you defended yourself when all of our asses were on the line. What? You expect the medal? So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. I'll take a look. Don't try anything. Alan, you need some firepower? Show me what you got. Don't try anything. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop. My guns now. No accounting for taste. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet?
fresh shipment in. All your medical and Mariner says the fog's alive. It can hear you. So why would you say The fog's poison, on account of the children of Adam. <clears throat> You're that mainlander who just got here. I should know. Uh-huh. Sounds interesting. I thought my... It was long. The island. Ah! With the strange... Let me guess. Ah. Uh, now, Petey. Sure. He was out... Anyway, uh -huh. of course. Uh-huh. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good. Uh-huh. You can't take care of yourself. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle we'll out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to the mm -hmm. last fella. Everyone's got their price. How many caps is this gonna run me? Keep your caps. The bartender Mitch sells it. Grab me a flask. And then we can work on getting you to Acadia alive. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take the <coughs> order. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya! Ha ha! You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up! You stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a... Uh-huh. What do you have? Now that's what. Mitch. You look like you need a nice cold vim. Sorry, no. Your loss. Hey there. You got my whiskey yet? Mitch. Looking a mite too sober by my estimation. I can fix that. I'd like a drink. Plenty of select. Excuse me. You got my whiskey yet? Here you go. Ah, now you're talking. I could get you to Arcadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. Set out of town. Acadia is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for a rope. Case foul of sin. But it'll help. We need to move through the main drag. Old mountain trail is what we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you see in the Commonwealth. The mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live.
bad in a scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See the fog into a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers will something. the mountain trail. we steer clear, but you never know. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee, the whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable and started taking things for granted. Folk got short memory. All this happened.
We ain't no longer got you. Shoot him! Some... 